Well, YouTube, here we are, back at it. Gonna see what I can get done with the truck tonight. Probably not gonna replace the rear main seal tonight. Tonight, I think what I'm gonna do is um, get the sending unit in this tank fixed, and then get the uh, auxiliary fuel the auxiliary fuel valve um, replaced, so I can run both tanks. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started on it. I've got. A stash of parts back here in the back of the shop uh, for this truck in the international bin. A bag of goodies. So, so, what we got is while the truck was sitting, the auxiliary fuel valve, which is actually right here, seized up. And so when I tried to switch to the uh, to the saddle tank, it uh, when I tried to switch the saddle tank, it busted off the knob. So, what I got to try and do is uh, make it so is adapt that that valve onto here, so that it'll all work. And then the stem sticks up through the floor here, and that's how you switch from one tank to the other. So, let's get. Uh, so we got some light right here. There we go. I don't know how much good that's going to do because it's not quite close enough to where I need to be. But it's worth a try anyways, I suppose. Okay. Well, let's get out. Okay, so we're down in the heart of the beast here. Just got to get these lines off. And hopefully I got the right size wrenches for... Uh, hopefully I've got the right size wrenches for those bolts back there. But, uh, you know, one nice thing about working on this truck, like if the transmission's out, you get this floor pan here that you just pull the floor pan out, and uh, you can get right down here in the middle of the truck and work on stuff. And This is why I'm doing the, the fuel valve instead of doing the transmission right now is because it makes this fuel valve really easy to get to, and so it's kind of... I could have fixed this a while back, but I didn't really want to do it until I pulled the tranny in. I knew I had to pull the tranny to replace the rear main seal, because I'd rather pull the tranny than pull the motor. So, that's uh, exactly what I did. And now, I can get at it really easy. And you can probably hear the cat meowing in the background. Meow, meow, meow. I'm not going to work super long tonight because I actually got something in. Now this may surprise you guys to hear, but I actually play video games and enjoy them. And I got a game in tonight, Call of Duty 3, and I'm all kinds of excited to try it out. Because I got it for my PS2, and uh, I like the online gaming where you play against a bunch of people, and I tried it out on Roman's Xbox. and thought it was an absolute blast, so I got it for cheap on one of them Super El Cheapo, whatever you call them, sites to get games. Actually, I had Roman order it, because, yeah, I'm just not good at that stuff. And then I ordered a uh, uh, mic set, a mic and uh, headset from, um, whatchamacallit, eBay. And so I am going to finish up with this fuel line thing and the sending unit, and then I think I'm going to go down to the house and try out my new game. But, uh, yeah, you know, you guys let me know what you think of it, because I, I haven't played it on PS2 yet, only Xbox. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think of it and see what you have to say. Because I don't play a whole lot. I'm not a heavy gamer. I sit down and play my PS2 maybe... <laughs> Maybe once or twice a month, and uh, yeah, other than that, you know, I uh, don't really use it much. I think I'm going to get a PS3, but <clears throat> I'm having a hard time justifying that cost because it's like, well, I don't hardly ever use it, but then again, it can play Blu-rays and download stuff and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I think I can justify it anyways, but anyways, I need both hands to get the nuts and bolts undone off of this deal here. So, I'm going to have to shut you off. Okay, so there's the culprit. Now you can see the difference between these two. On this one, this is where the fuel goes in, and then one tank, and then the other tank. 
Now on this one, it goes just the same way, only this is where the fuel goes in. And you got one tank and the other tank. So what I got to do is I got to uh, take, and I got these fittings here for just that reason. But uh, I got two straight fittings. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is bending this line that would go in through the bottom. I'll have to bend it up and put it into here. And then the line that would go in here I'll have to bend down, bend downward and then use my 90 joint on this one. Molly, what's your problem? See and watch this crazy cat. She'll meow, meow, and she wants to be petted. But see, look what happens when you walk towards her and try and pet her. And she runs away. Oh well. So, I'm going to get my fittings put on this, and then uh, we'll get down there and go from there. Well, there it is. Um, let's, oh, what did I do? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to get down in here. And uh, then I'm going to have to shut off the camera real quick because I have to bend all of my lines into place and I have to get this thing bolted up in here. So, shut you guys off, but I just wanted to show you what I got here so you can see it. And, uh, yep, then we'll be on our merry way. Well, there it is. Got it all bolted up. And just got that handy dandy little switch there. And that pull fuel from either direction, which is just niftier than shit. So, now I can run on either the factory 20 gallon tank, or the, uh, I don't know, that must be about a, I suppose that's about a 20 gallon or so, I don't know how many gallons that is to be honest, maybe it's a 30, who knows. But it's more gas than I had before, so I can run a little longer distance, that'll be nice. So, meow, 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 meow. Meow mix, meow mix, meow mix. I want chicken, I want liver. Meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. Oh, now she's being nice. Anyways, so now what we got to do is get a straight screwdriver. Pull this off and make sure that this sending unit works. Because, to be perfectly honest, I don't feel like dropping the tank this tank right now and that's what I have to do in order to get the uh, sending unit out of there and there is something wrong with that sending unit but I can actually do that about any time I feel like it Let's pull the truck in the shop when it's cold but basically what I'll do is I'll fill this tank you know and then just let it run dry and uh, and then switch over to the auxiliary tank and then I know I gotta fill up eventually but so if we have at least one fuel gauge working, then that'll make me feel at least a little better, because I have run this thing out of gas once. But anyways, I digress. Onward ho. No sense in holding up progress. Let's uh, get this sending unit out of here. Okay, we got this sending unit out of here, and Kayla came just in time. Because... Now I think I got a hole in this float, which is easy. I can actually get a get a float um, for that. I, I might actually have a spare one, to be honest. But at any rate, that's easy to fix. Now we just got to find out if the sending unit works. So I got Kayla in the driver's seat. Um, damn, must be something wrong with the uh, fuel gauge then. Huh? Well, I guess. So what we're gonna do here is. Uh, that's all I needed, hon. Thank you. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to test this fuel gauge. So i got to get it apart, and then I'll show you guys how to test a fuel, or a sending unit, excuse me. <sighs> so let's get that. Okay, well, Kayla was helping me out, and I think I figured out a problem. See this thing right here? Used to be attached to the frame. Yay! And now it's not. So obviously my ground was not being any good. So I am going to get back at this when I uh, have a multimeter, which is in the front seat of my sister's car. And uh, yeah, so I can test voltage and I can test the ground. Don't look away from the camera. Hello. <laughs> but anyways, for now, 
I'm going to go down and play my game. Yes. <laughs>